that? Or? Yes, it was. Uh, well, you see, I mean, I am from Germany, mm -hmm. and I have been through uh, an education in Berlin, and I also went to East Berlin, and of course, uh, Brecht was the man mm -hmm. that I like, you know, and is the man. His whole, uh, uh, you know, I don't like many of his very agit prop communist numbers, yeah? But uh, they are agit prop and they, you know, they, they will pass, yeah? Like all this, whatever is, you know, in one direction will pass. But what was uh, going down to the human soul, that doesn't pass. And he did, uh, he did that too, he did those plays. So I was a Brecht follower, so my first thing I did here must have been Brecht. And Tin Pan Alley is a, a, a very famous street in New York, mm -hmm. where uh, all the musicals and, and you know, mm -hmm. show business, there's no business but show business, that comes from Tin Pan Alley. You know? So I had the two meet. On the same uh, year, 1981, apart from the Tin Pan Alley, you also did Waiting for Godot. Yeah, that's right. right? Yeah. And you did Waiting for Godot after so many yes, years now. That's right. Like 28 years. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that was very early then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think at that time, uh, not too many people uh, uh, understood exactly what the heck Waiting for Godot is all about. Yeah, uh, But it even took me quite a while to understand Waiting for Godot, you know. Mm -hmm. And now... I understand it, and not only I understand it, but I think many others get the message too. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, however can you say anything better than uh, what, what's, what it is with human nature, yeah? with uh, these different four characters, you know, five characters, right? And that speech of Lucky's, there is nothing better that takes the whole Western thinking of uh, uh, and, and, you know, feeling great of philosophy, of, of uh, sports, of uh, everything, takes it, deconstructs it totally. Mm -hmm. It's a total deconstruction of uh, Western thought. Huh? That's a fabulous speech. And that is, I mean, you can't say it better, you know. There is nothing that says that better than that speech of Lucky's and his continuous physical uh, uh, torment he runs through the whole play, right? Mm -hmm. And then finally he's made to think and then that comes out. Uh, and the whole, the, the dialogue, the, the Pozzo and his great individualistic uh, 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 greatness, yeah? Well, how can you say it better? <laughs> His total going crazy. Uh, how can you say better with Vladimir and Estragon, those two people, you know, who have made themselves something they wait for, Godot, mm -hmm. yeah. whatever it is we wait for, you know? Uh, he just calls it Godot, you know, it doesn't matter what you call it. Huh? And in between, what is it, you know? My foot hurts. Yeah, do you want to carry it? <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that's what is in between. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what fills your days, you know. So these two guys are much more than just, uh, than just uh, uh, clochards on the road, you know. They're much more, they're us. But everybody in that play is us. So anyway, I did it, I always liked this play. I thought it was brilliant. Brecht first hated it. The whole communist regimes really hated that play. And then finally they got to uh, uh, understand it. Mm -hmm. yeah? And even the East Germans, they did it what, one, one, uh, one uh, year before the wall fell, they did this play. Yeah? Um, Brecht then later on reversed his thinking. He reversed a lot of his thinkings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is good, you know, um, which makes him so sympathetic to me, because yeah? he, he, he did a lot of bold sayings too, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 
towards communism and all of that. But then he reversed it, and he reversed it with that play too. And, uh, well, that's why it needed to be said again, Waiting for Godot, and it was the time now. <laughs>